All right, y'all. We started the show. The DMVs of the OGs are here. Trey Z, Big Al, and we got some guests. We got some guests. We got some guests. Some real guests. Mr. Tupic, Mr. Cedric, the Georgia alumni fan <laughs> on the show with us. Trey Z's with us. What? 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 what are you doing? We just started the show. We recorded. No, 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 no. We started our show, right? Yeah. <laughs> you talking about some Georgia what? <laughs> hey. Come on, man. Let, me, proud. let me let me get it right. We Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the OGs of the DMV show. Here I am. We got the first string podcast on here. And I don't understand why Two Pick does it. But he does got a cool dude in the name of Cedric that comes on and represent his side of things. I got my man Toothpick in the house. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Big Al, take a sip. And for <laughs> those of you who are ready, let's, let's get it. Yeah, yeah. You don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know who you messing with. I run you up and down the Serengeti Heads ain't ready I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti My rhymes are heavy like elephants Stomping your regiments Dismembering all your limbs Ripping your ligaments I break you down to an atom Change your chemical structure Roots and culture You don't want to vote for this brother I'm like a time bomb Open fresh can of wish Apple stylus plexiglass Got you face down in the grass Ready to blast Sticky for your jewels and your cash Call me Robin Hood Take the loot back to the hood I wish you would try to retaliate I wait like a sniper Beat you like street fighter I heat you up like a lighter Don't need no ghost writer Original skill Killing that wheel Terminates uh, career like the pill This is real Not no fiction Came up for my jurisdiction I'm liver than you Whether freestyle or written Hitting hard like a hammer Like a natural disaster Like a hurricane Plain and simple Bringing the pain Won the battle What, 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 what I'm ready to do this, beat your ass like Lennox Lewis, play you out like Barker we're Lewis. Back. You we're back, and we're my back my again, this time with the acumen of the First String Podcast. Yes, sir, we're off the bench today. Off the bench. First String. I got my That's man right. picked down at the bottom, and my man Cedric. Yeah, you know, we're going to clown him a little bit, but he's all right. <laughs> we gave him a pack. The pick say he okay, he okay. <laughs> he's so, okay. He's okay. At this time, let's talk what we know and what we don't know. We're looking at last week, we kind of talked about, you know, we came back. We're a little slow with things, but we kind of methodical with our stuff, right? So we talked about how we felt about the draft and free agency and where we are and what we're doing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like to hear your feelings around what we have done. Let's just stay with what in Washington always has been, always seems to be, and hopefully this will be the last time it's an issue, quarterback. I'm going to mm. start with Pick because you are invested here in the DMV. And before we even listen to the guy down there, down south in that state of his or whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Pick, how you feel about our Pick? I see, hey. Jay. Everything revolves around the quarterback, right? It's a position that we've been trying to get right since I'm gonna say Joe Theismann because we had Doug, right? Doug was great. Doug gave us a couple of years, but what we're looking for is that guy that's gonna start for the next 10 years. But before we get that guy that starts for the next 10 years, we gotta find out if he can make it through his rookie contract, mm. right? Which is the, the biggest thing right now especially with this fifth year option that we have is can we get this guy in and he makes it impossible for us not to pick up his fifth year option, right? That's what we're looking for. A guy that comes in and says, okay, here's my year one, my rookie year. It was okay. But my sophomore year, when I have a full season to sit back and understand the offense and be comfortable in this thing, watch me take off. And if it doesn't happen, that fast it's okay because you still have that third year but by that fourth year this guy needs to make it impossible for us to say there's no way we're not taking this fifth year and working on the extension that's the that's the beauty of grabbing a quarterback in the first round is you have those five years to evaluate them and if he makes your team better that salary is manageable and you can build around them so 
it's not really looking at the quarterback like I just stated and all of that, but it's really evaluating this coaching staff, which we have this brand new coach staff headed by Dan Quinn and seeing what they can mm. do with the talent that we have. All right. Mm, is that what you're going with? That's what he's going with. <laughs> yeah. Now, before you, before you is that, say anything, is that what you're going with? That's what I'm going to do. Say anything, and make sure you're not choosing violence, Cedric. Because these old dudes, <laughs> we, uh, we, we can tanker us and a little edgy, man, when it comes to talking about our team, man. So I'm just letting you know, I'm giving you full warning. <laughs> hey, hey, before Sid said anything, sometimes we can't let Sid come out and play with other people. So he said it would be good. <laughs> you play with other what you do, Sid, do what you do, say it with your chest, just be ready. Let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead and jump in here right quick. I'm listening, I'm listening to Pick. You know, I'm listening to what he's saying. You have a quarterback, yada yada yada. Okay, you didn't address the offensive line. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't address bringing in some rookies to build the offensive line for tenure down the road. You you went back to patchwork for the offensive line. Meaning what? He's been doing the same thing as what the last quarterback. So now, in some ways, you have not fixed what the problem was last year when your quarterback is sacked on play one. In the very first game, and you don't draft the offensive line until you didn't. You signed an undrafted free agent. Y'all did draft the offensive line. Allegedly. Right. Well, this, see, this is see, really you're saying. you're missing something. May I pick? May I go for it? It's your show. <laughs> I'm Thank here. You. Mr. Cedric. I'm here. Ahead, you're not paying up. attention to what we have you pay attention to what we haven't done but you're not paying attention to what we have we have pieces and okay. we have a thing called trade okay. and we have some guys on the line especially one guy in particular mr allen and mr allen has always suggested that you know he's okay being here but you know he's whatever and if we decided to go trade for trade what do you think we would get for mr allen when it comes to an offense alignment would we able to get a competent right tackle? Don, hmm. before you say anything, sir, you will be thinking about the old Washington, my friend. <laughs> but this is the new Washington. So before you answer that question, you must think about those that might be cerebral. Those that might be sitting down and being very strategic and making sure that they get the right players because this guy has a resume and where dare I say, San Francisco, that always brought in athletes and players. So, Mr. Cedric, please, my calm down and slow down <laughs> because you just don't know what's about to happen, my friend. You know what? We don't either, but we are excited because everybody's fooled and tricked. You haven't done the offensive line. That's so obvious. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Think about it. Well, you with me? This is what I can say. I'm, I'm here. As far as our quarterback being sacked on the first play, which said and Lady A kept saying we need to address the offensive line. I said the biggest acquisition that we've made is the coaches. We had a coach, a coaching team last year that would not help out a struggling offensive line. Wouldn't, wouldn't help out the man at the ice cream truck. <laughs> you you had a quarterback that wouldn't get rid of the ball and you He's had a, a offensive line that was that needed help from running backs from tight ends, right? All day. And you never gave the help to the places that needed. It. Then you had an offensive coordinator that said, "Hey, you know what? I'm I'm not running the ball." Ridiculous. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb. So the coaches is the biggest thing, and that's why I said the coaches because Old Star they come in and they and they're and they don't adjust. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be a problem. Well, I wanna ask uh, Cedric though. Calling him the quarterback, you know, because I know JD5 played Georgia 
you know, a few times in the SEC. What did you see in the JD5 as a quarterback and his playmaking skills? What do you when, feel about when, that, Cedric? When he has the time, he's an excellent quarterback. But against us, you know, we knew it was what he needed. And we knew that we couldn't give it to him. Just when he played us now. I can only I can I can speak for us. And those games where he had those big games, he was able to sit back and throw the ball or or able to leak out and still get rid of the ball, which is what he did, or he took off running. But as we saw from Richardson this past year at quarterback, you can't take those hits from NFL uh, uh players. Stronger, stronger, bigger, faster, stronger. He was out for the year. So and that being said, he also took some big hits as a, a, a quarterback last year. So he's going to have to be able to figure out where I got to slide, where I go out of bounds, where I got to give him this plate. You cannot take those hits from those guys. Now, him having some decent wide receivers helped him as well because, you know, you know they were open, he was hitting with the ball. So I can't take it away from him, but he's going to need the time to do that. He's going to need the time to be able to read it and react. Yep. Two picks. Is that right. Mr. Pick once again? It's, I'm Tell me what quarterback doesn't perform well when it has time. I can't stand when people say that. All mm -hmm. quarterbacks need time. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and throw that equation out. Of but okay. all quarterbacks who get time and all quarterbacks who don't get time don't necessarily have the athleticism to what? You said it. Break around the corner. Get loose. Do what he got to do or extend the play. Right? Correct. Thank you. Big Al, what was you about to say, man? You know, quite a question to you. Um, what do you feel about the pick? That I think it was the third round, the late third round pick of Coleman from TCU, who they're going to actually throw out there and basically try out for the left tackle. Okay, so listen. One of the games that we were supposed to go to as a podcast was supposed to be the um, TCU versus Colorado. Prime's first Prime's first uh, coaching gig in, in in college on the on the D one level. Mm -hmm. To to our surprise, Sid, me and Sid saw when those tickets got posted. Oh my God, they were ridiculous. However, it was right in Fort Worth where we are, and uh, we we watched it. Now this guy has played guard and tackle, and he's mostly played. I think it was the right tackle. Right, he's mostly played guard, but he has that long that. As, as, as Sid would say, he don't have short arms. This guy has long arms. And now we got to figure out if he's athletic enough, if, if he's a dancing bear. And, and we're going to find that out really fast in Rookie Minicamp. So I'm listening for what Jay Gruden said about Brandon uh, Sheriff, when we got him as a tackle and he says we drafted him and he was a guard. So I'm listening very keenly to the coaches this weekend to find out if they say he's a guard or a tackle. He's a tackle. He better be. I, I hate to just jump in like that, but he's a tackle. What's up, fellas? What's happening, Deacon? Deacon, with Deacon yeah. Hey. hey. Welcome to the OG show. These are my boys here, Big Al and Tracy. We but did y'all do y'all do the intro already? Yeah, well, you late, baby. We did three intros. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let the man cook, please. Uh, that man was free. You, you cut him off. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And listen, when, when you when you see a running train, you got to jump in. You can't just sit there and let it run over you. And jump in the box, jump in the box car, man. Come on. That's it's my right. first time jumping in the middle of a, a, a process here. I don't know what to do. Cause it was I'm cooking. Just, I'm just saying Wait, you cook. have to you have to you have to be able to listen to um to these coaches this weekend, especially coming out of this it's a rookie mini camp, right? So it's them really showing them what they need to do when the vets come in, right? But they also get their hands on them and see if they can move. See, see how quick they process from one day to the next day. How they take it from the meeting to back to the field. So I'm, I'm listening intensely about what we have in in Mr. Coleman. I mean, so, Deacon, if you interrupted, 
I mean, we was having a great conversation. But welcome, man, DK Cook. Well, so, so Al was kind of just dropping down how he felt. So here's what I think. I do agree with Pick. The rookie thing is going to be something. Pick said what I've been saying for the last three years. The coaching, the coaching, the coaching is all going to matter. Because I really do believe we had a squad last year that if it was coached better would not have only won four games. No, we it's didn't. Just, there's, there's no, 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 no. I think we had a squad that was worthy of performing. We just, as Deacon would say, S to bed so many times because of inadequate coaching. It, the coaching was in it was hurry for years, man. And I'm just being real, man. You got individuals who were linebackers on both offense and defense, and our linebacker core did not get better until now. How is that possible? I don't want you guys to not see that. How is that possible that you, your position, hey, my position is the water cooler. I expect it to be cold. I expect it to be frequent. Everybody gets the bottle. I'm doing what I'm doing. It's my position. You a linebacker. <laughs> you got gold jacket linebacker. And you don't tell me. And you got one guy who you put at the mic who's like, what is that? And you think that's good enough. And then you go out and get some guys who run a 5-6 on a good day and say, our linebacker's team was good. That's terrible coaching my friend so going back to who said it, going back to what i'm saying it is now or never do we have competent coaches fellas i'm fellas let's be real there's some guys right now on the defenders that would have did better with competent coaching Ooh. the defenders the defenders do have great coaching don't forget they got greg williams exactly. over there and I'm not and, then, I, and then they got our guy. They got they got coach. They got our guy to come so on the show. The defenders players are guys who might be a half a second slower, ten mm -hmm. pounds lighter. Went to a Division three school. That's what that's what the defenders are. So if they able to, and what we do at the end of a certain time, we get the draft from the uh, now it's going to be the UFL. You can find a couple of gems. So my point is, is this. And I want everybody to be very clear. Stop thinking about the past. Everything is new this year. Before it was a new coach. Before it was a new owner. But now everything is new. Everything, everything. Everything is new. So, gentlemen, this is where I am. We got our quarterback. Now, what one thing I do have a problem. This is kind of a sidebar. And those of you who have just got this <laughs> He's still he Please like and subscribe because Deacon is here because it'll make him feel better. And if not, just subscribe because you don't have to like all the time. Like it all the time. It's, if I forget, just subscribe. And then if you don't do anything else, subscribe to the First String Podcast because these guys is making this show that much better. Ding. All right. Anyway, I didn't like the way I personally, I thought if the he could have waited maybe a year or two before giving up, making Tressway give up the number, man. I, 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 Tressway. Huh? Is that official? Is that official? That he's I heard it was official. Yeah, I haven't heard, heard that was official yet. Is it official? I, I, heard, that I heard it was official. It, Him it and Diami Brown are the two veterans that are, have given up their numbers already. That's what I heard. And I'm just telling you what I heard. This might be something new. They gave up the number. Tress Wade and gave up the five. Deami Brown gave up whatever he was. To well, first off, hold on. Deami right. Brown has no right to claim any number. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell You've you something. You've been in the league. Nope, hey. nope. Okay. Hey. I don't agree. Let me tell you why I don't agree. Because, you first of all, let's not take anything away from making an NFL roster. First and foremost, the worst bench player on the NFL roster is the best of the UFL college and so forth on down okay so let's go ahead and say that i'm there i'm there for a reason i might be a journeyman i might just be special to you. <laughs> but it's my number now hold on al, al. Hold up, Deacon. let me finish wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let, me finish. Dude, let me finish now i'm not comparing brown it's thursday y'all <laughs> i'm not gonna listen D, hey i'm mm -hmm. not comparing brown to tress way which is my point 
Tressway has been a pro bowler for how long, fellas? The only pro bowler we've had. Okay, so if I'm coming in as a rookie, you know, I'm all of that and a bag of chips and I'm number two, I'm not going to the pro bowler since we've all we have had. So we don't even know how many years he's been a pro bowler and take his number. I don't think that's right. That's all I'm saying. But did, did he do it? So there's a the, there's a the thing. And, and y'all listen to B. Mitch and Finley just as much as I do, right? When Brian Mitchell left here and went to Philly, somebody was wearing his number 30. He said he was ready to pay the guy, but when he showed up in the locker room, it was in his locker. The number 30 was. A so veteran. A but veteran. I, I, I get it. And I'm not saying that he's a, I'm not saying that, that Daniels is a, is a vet or he deserves this, but however, maybe, maybe, just maybe it was Tress Wade that said, you know, you've been rocking this number, and we want you to come in and be be that dude, that guy for us. You know, won't you slide me some cash so you can have this number five? We don't know that yet. That has well, to come getting, out. He definitely getting cash, but that, yeah, you that. you think that? Tell you right now. Now. I've heard hundred thousand dollars. That's what I heard. I, I'm, Damn. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. No, stop. Woo-hoo. I'm gonna put all my that. seven dollars on this. Well, let, in let the words, yeah, in the words that of dude Mike, is about yeah. to get. Trust Way is about to get a ring of fame in whatever stadium we're going to be in. Be, be. That didn't happen. This guy okay. has been consistent. Trust Way is not getting a ring of fame. Consistent. Oh, 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 wait. I promise you that. Wait, wait. Al, Al, let's put money on that tonight. Trust not getting Way. that. Uh, Ray, uh, Ray, Ray, <laughs> Ray guy got it. In the words of all right, all right, let's get back to normalcy. Let's get back to normalcy. Hey, Cedric, before you leave, man, yeah, I'm going to you real quick. Hey, uh, Deacon, hey, I'm going to rock this night. Trey is out. talking to me crazy. I, I love Trey. He's my man, but uh, anyway. Al, Al, kick rocks. You wrong. <laughs> hey, Cedric, uh-huh. the person is not a fan of the Commanders, and you're not a fan of the Commanders, but you are aware of some of our players. What is your yeah. estimate of our previous talent level? Because reportedly, Peters is talking about getting rid of 95% of the team. Hmm. Eventually, in the next three years. So, we thought as a fan, me personally as a fan, I thought we had some talent. I love, you know, you know, uh, Diami, and I love Allen and Payne, and I thought we had some players on our team. Not, I thought we had more, you know, some decent players. But according to Peters, we garbage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking you as a fan. <laughs> And not a non a non fan. What did you think about our talent level that we had on our team the last couple of years? I think that uh, you know y'all actually have played us last couple of years. No, I know that. Um, play again this year. Um, why y'all y'all have y'all had some of the best wide receivers? Uh, they were underutilized, especially your, your your number your your wide receiver number one. I think Pick and I was in Houston when they played in Houston. We was yelling at the coach then from the sideline. He's he's running wide open. Why are we not throwing the ball? Pick Pick will tell you. I was. We were literally yelling this in Houston, mm-hmm. and and wide receiver, y'all good wide receiver, running back, you're good at running back. Uh, I like Robinson. I'm, I'm not gonna say say he don't even SEC. He played against us. I like Robinson. Um, I thought the offensive line was poor. You got that right. I said to Pickle Tape during the, the draft last year. You heard me? Yeah, offensive line, offensive line, offensive line. I, that's, that's all I yelled. Even for whatever, whatever draft y'all made, pick y'all made, I was yelling offensive line because that's what the sore part spark was the year before. I thought that the quarterback y'all drafted, even though some people said that he was holding the ball a little long, I think that he got to a point where he expected to be hit. So even though he was supposed to get rid of that ball, he was expecting to get hit. So it was kind of like he was like in between. Let me get rid of the ball. But I'm gonna get hit before I get hit to the ball because some because some of those games he played, especially one against Dallas. What? Especially one against Dallas. Dallas was a playoff. Come on now, Dallas was a playoff squad. What did he do in that game against Dallas? Everybody talking about it's a fluke. It's a fluke. He played in that game. I don't care what nobody say. He was in the game he played defensively. Wait, 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 wait. He's talking about, he's talking about the Sam House first start. First Dallas game. game. First Dallas game. First yeah. start. Oh, no, oh, yeah. the freezing game in Washington. Yeah, at the first uh, Orlando. Game. I think. Yeah. I think that um, he was waiting to I get hit. One of the one of the um, the uh, defense end. I thought you were gonna keep one or the other. I was surprised they got rid of both. Pick, pick a tail. He's. I heard saying. I was surprised y'all got rid of both. 
One, I two. understand you're not signing one and keeping the other one. Understood that. But when you we got rid of two. both. We were surprised. We were. I, I, I was surprised. Because yeah, defensive end talent, whether they can get there or get close, is hard to get. Trust me, we need a defensive end. I, <laughs> Coaching and organization. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to go try to pick one of them up because we need a defensive end. Who would uh, now? Uh, quarterback, he struggled a little bit. He ended up being pulled. It was your, your draft pick. He started, he struggled. But the thing about that is they didn't help him by changing the scheme. Nope. You can't consider exactly. the same scheme and he's struggling. Moving right. to the slot, moving here, moving there. Change it to a zone. They did not help him with the scheme. All they did was, yeah. it had, once, because you know, this is the NFL. Once you expose one time. They know, yeah, they're coming. You know, you got somebody on the sideline. He got that paper. That's right. Now he's written it down. Whoever was watching the game, they've written it down. So he's going to see it from week to week until you're done. And they Everybody not except for our organization. Not, not just in the screen. Huh? Everybody but our organization got that, but we didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean I'm, a, I'm a football fan. I may not be a watch fan. I'm a football fan. I watch the game. Right. Please can tell you, I watch the game. I, I, I watch the game. I'm a football fan. I'm going to watch. And I'm going to tell you. And I'm a, because Big can tell you, he heard me yelling at the screen. Is this is my quarterback, is he colorblind? Can he not see this guy yeah. standing wide open? Hey, well, Al, I'm a fan. Al, I mean, your organization picked up Heineken, so. <laughs> and that's why they drafted, and that's why they drafted future Warren Moon. And you know what? Hey, <laughs> pick, <laughs> pick, <laughs> pick, future pick, Warren pick, Moon. I, 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 good, good, good movie. I don't know about that two pick. pick. Future Warren Moon. <laughs> <laughs> He said, he said, what did I tell him? What did I say? Trust me, going to the Hall of Fame. What did I tell you, Pete? What did I tell you, Pete? He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. With Sid, ring with Sid, Sid told, I said Ring with, of Fame, not Hall of Fame. All right, with Ring Sid, of Fame. What Sid told us was, if Heineke, if Heineke sees the field for Atlanta, the season's over. Hell right. no, Mariota is not similar. Mariota is not a... <laughs> Batman, you can't wear it like <laughs> eight years. Maybe eight years ago. But Mariota will not touch that field unless I'm until I'm for the day I die. He will not touch that field. <laughs> we not, we not, he said he 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 a mentor. He he said a mentor the quarter. I do not want to hear. I do not want to hear that man's name on that one. When when I'm, I don't want to hear that man. I don't <laughs> want to hear that man's man. name on, on the jumbo <laughs> tron. So, so, on so the jumbo not, tron. Not I do not want to hear that man's name. But Mariota definitely is a mobile quarterback. He mobile, yeah, five, six years ago. Now look at y'all. That man could, y'all. That man got a mobile wagon right now. Somebody blow a blood vessel. Somebody go through a blood vessel. Somebody go through a blood vessel. Watch your hypertension, huh? Man, please. You have blood pressure with us now. That, that man, that man don't even look like he wanted. He look, he look at the camera when they said. So, what do you think he's gonna bring to the? What do you think he's gonna bring to the organization? Oh, just leadership. He ain't say nothing about the field. He was just like, I'm gonna try to be the best mentor I can. He don't want that field. He don't want that Biggie, field. Biggie, 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 Biggie. Hold on, hold on, Biggie. Listen, listen. <laughs> that is Mariota. He said that, but. I have to address this, right? I made, and say to tell you, I made a promise to support De'Ami Brown last year. And I mm. did. From preseason all the way through the end of the season. I was a De'Ami fan. I never said one bad word about him. Well, that season's over. Right? And this is a, what have you done for me, Lee? Right? The NFL stands for not for long. And in De'Ami's three years in his three years my man has less catches than a kid that's playing boys club right now for the, his first year at wide receiver oh that's cold but you know what don't pick let me ask you this question i'm gonna ask this question do you remember mm -hmm. jd mckissick i'm gonna say this to you do you remember him we haven't won with them. Why am I keeping him on my roster no, 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 to catch no. single-digit catches? He's not, wasting a position. 
I'm not He's arguing that. This, this is this is the this is the Colt McCoy of <laughs> quarterbacks. Well, we kept keeping Colt on the roster <laughs> instead of we kept him as number fifty three instead why of an extra you, linebacker well, instead of a running back on, on. another hold wide on, receiver. I'm going to argue with you on this one. I'm going to argue with you on this one. Here's the thing that you got to ask yourself. There's two sides to every, actually three sides. It's the right side, the wrong side, and the truth. So here's what I'm going to say to you. Let's talk about Colt McCoy. I agree with you. We were, every time Colt McCoy was going to get in the game, we was like, yeah, the quarterback was thinking. Colt McCoy has been on the practice squad for centuries. He got to know this by heart. <laughs> he get out there. And he, he found the way. He found the way to go like, where are you? what are you doing? It was right. always the funniest thing. But let me give you an example. I have to believe, or maybe I don't have to. I want to believe that something was, somebody said, we need him. And and I don't know who it was, but it was enough people to go, like Al said tonight, oh, you tripping trade. Nobody said that. With Colt McCoy was on there. Now here's what I know them. But see, you and I we're peons when it comes to these guys, right? So let me go back to De'Ami Brown. De'Ami Brown and uh the how were supposedly like roommates. They was like a couple <laughs> when it came to <laughs> what we expected Pause. last year, right? Pause. We was like no diddy, no thought, diddy, no diddy, no we diddy. Had, yeah, no diddy. We <laughs> thought we had uh, 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 what's his name? Manning and Harrison in the making. We was like, oh, it's about to get on. Nobody else believed that. Even though we had that history, we were understanding, for some reason, unbeknownst to everybody, all the fandom, it didn't translate to the field. So the question is, with all this new regime coming in, I would think the first person that I was dumping for some change is De'Ami Brown. But for some reason, he's still here. So let's not look at it as he, he he's dating the owner because the owner gone. He's not hanging out with the coach because the coaches are gone. He's not cool with the with the team because the team don't even know who he is because he never gets on the field. So what is it about De'Ami Brown? Unless it's some kind of talent that was like, yo, they were, this, was, this guy was on the team and then maybe they could try to, uh, there's a coach in there who's going to go, no, hold up. Let me see if he does these one or two things during the rookie joint. If he don't do that, then he's out. That's all I'm Deacon. saying. Deacon, Deacon, I, I got to ask you a question because Tracy is tripping and Al ain't doing nothing <laughs> to stop it, right? <laughs> let, me, let me ask this question, Deacon. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you go on to, um, what is it? If you go to Facebook Market and you put something on Facebook Market, right? Somebody has let's just say I, I take this battery pack, right? I take this battery pack right here and I put it on Facebook market for a dollar, right? Somebody has to want it for me to get the dollar. If we took Deami Brown right now and offered him to all, all the other 31 teams in the NFL, who's gonna pay for that? The same guy who picked up Crowder, and now we Come got on. Crowder back. That's what Crowder, what Crow, Crowder, Crowder was productive. Was he was like, get rid of Crowder. Who was like, keep Crowder? Al, you speaking you production Al, you over non-production. No, he has not Al, produced. He's not a producer. I mean, Crowder was a, a C player, but unfortunately, Dami Brown is not even a C player. You know, he See, that's what you say. But I'm going to say this too, pick. Dami Brown has speed. He has God-given speed. And I'm that's lying. the reason why I think he's on the still on the team. <laughs> You're Wait, lying. You know, you know, you know no, no, listen, team. listen, hold on, hold on. Everybody, everybody, keep it everybody keep it Crowder. Give me one second. Right. Crowder with the jersey and balled out. We got him back. That's, you know, you y'all want to keep it Crowder. De'Ami Brown, De'Ami Brown is a throw out. Yeah. Boom. He's a throw out. Anytime we make a trade with somebody, we throw De'Ami Brown in there and they throw it back at us. <laughs> and nobody's taking him. Nobody's taking him. He's cheap right now. That's what you I'm can saying. cut him, Deacon. Stop, Stop playing. playing. You know, he's cut. cheap. There's no reason to cut him. You get him in. He's a camp body, if nothing else. That part. That's bull. That's bull. What? Because he's cheap. It's his last year's contract. Al, he was a third a round pick. Al, wait a minute. We just signed. What's his name? Casmore. What's his name? Cashmere Allen. Get it right. Cashmere. 
Okay, two pick. Go ahead. Casimir starting. Casimir is a camp no, body. Listen, he, he's, he's a camp body. Why are we signing? Oh, Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna give you. Why I'm gonna give you the signing? perfect. Cash. I'll give you. I'll give you the perfect. Big Al ain't stopping it. Perfect. I'm stopping it. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the perfect wide receiver, right? So hey, Jacksonville, man. Jacksonville cut one of their wide receivers, right? Who right. was a producer? He's a free agent, and they cut him. He was a producer. He caught way more passes in the last year than De'Ami Brown has caught in three years. He's walking the streets right now. If he's walking the streets as a producer, <laughs> that someone that's been in the end zone, other than the game versus Tennessee. Well, that, well that's the so that's the problem I'm saying with our with our um, our talent level. When 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 Peter said he's getting rid of 95 percent of the team, Deami Brown was part of that 95. I think he was part of that 95. percent <laughs> Cashmere was it? <laughs> Cashmere, no, no, they, they brought they brought Cashmere back because Cashmere has a punt return and kickoff return ability, and they wondering yeah. if he can uh, reevaluate, get himself together off of last year. Ah. And, Listen, he, hey, he every, can run 100 yards without getting tired. Every bum on the squad is on there because they can return kicks. You know why? Because it's a suicide mission. And they no, don't because care. they can catch. As long as they can catch the ball, they hope. That's the hey, problem. That's we the had Dax Mill take two steps. He could catch the ball. Going. That's the only person we had that could catch the punt. What? <laughs> Listen, catching a punt, Please. catching a punt, and catching a kickoff is two different things, man. You can't, you cannot just put a wide receiver back Y'all there suck and the yeah, oh, you yeah. can't just put a wide receiver back there expecting to catch a punt, man. Them things move all over the place. They mm-hmm. have to have a certain amount of talent and, punt and have special. done it most of the time. I mean, we don't, it's not like it's not like the yesteryear where you can just put a quarterback back there and just catch the ball. Sounds I mean, like Joe Bowser was running uh, kickoffs back. Oh, so, like listen. Now. Crowd is crowd can't run 60 yards without blowing a tire, man. He tired. So why we got him? Why is he? Because he's the only one we got. That's why we got Cashmere Island. That's the whole reason we talking about Cashmere <laughs> Island. Drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol matter. <laughs> hey, Cedric. I, I had a quick cool question for you, Cedric, real quick. Yes, sir. Um, we have a linebacker that's coming up on his um, fifth year or fourth year, I believe. He played. We, we try to put him at the start middle linebacker. He didn't make it out. And now he's going to be a backup for us next uh, next year. Um, but he was from the SEC. Uh, he was supposed to be the next superstar language, but he goes by the name of Davis. Technically, he's from the SEC. Wait, who are you talking about? <laughs> he's talking Jamie. about Jamie Davis. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Davis. Kentucky, Kentucky is really not Kentucky SEC. Kentucky is SEC. SEC. Well, They're in what, the region. What, they don't really what, play SEC. What I will like say about Kentucky, Hanson. Kentucky does play a decent defense. Um, if I remember correctly, they – they had the second or the third lowest uh, rushing yard per attempt in the SEC last year. Uh, so they do play de- they do play defense. I mean, in the SEC, you have to be built to stop the run, and because you can't stop the run, it's TLP. That's what that's what we're gonna do they, they, they until you stop. Ten, ten, Tennessee find that out, especially in the rain. But uh, talk about Tennessee on this trip. Hey. Hey. I shoot all well, arrows. I guess the question is, man, do you okay. remember watching Ian, <laughs> you remember playing Ian Davis play, man, and why he has not been productive like we thought he was going to be productive? I think it's the scheme. I think it's the scheme more than anything. Now, uh, uh, Pick Pick knows this. You know, y'all y'all not gonna like it. y'all not gonna like this, but Pick knows this. Uh, Dan Quinn, Dan is Dan Quinn's scheme. Does it work? Yes. If but you need to have linebackers that can cover tight ends because that's the weakness to this scheme. Pick his pick, pick his, he'll, he'll tell you, I've already told him that's the weakness to this scheme. His scheme is is athletic tight ends, is the weakness to Dan Quinn's scheme. And let me and that's introduce you to Mike Sandra still. Now, another thing I say about Dan Quinn is <laughs> don't have don't let him pick them the player. <laughs> what? Said, don't, 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 don't let him do any. Don't have any input with the players. <laughs> Just tell him what you're looking for. Let them bring him in. Don't, because I, I can only say I can only say from my experience. I'm giving you from my experience. He took like, y'all. Man, he took you still hurt. hurt. He, he got huh? PTSD. You still hurt. You still hurt because I lost that. Can, I mean, you lost that ball. What I got right? Think about the last few guys that we picked. Um, the only one that's really, really, really done well. Is um uh what's his name? 
Uh, he's in Jacksonville, not linebacker. He was a he was a, a fifth round pick out of Yale. Uh, he's led the league in tackles the last two years. Uh, uh, I, can't, I don't want to jack his name up. You talking about uh, Walker? What I'm going to, huh? You talking about Walker? No, 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 no. I'm, I don't I don't want to jack his name up, but I'm going to if I if, if I say it right now. But that was one of Dan Quinn's pick. He stayed. He actually the the, the, the weird thing about it is. He they only played him limited amount of time, and then when he got in to play, they realized they had a gym that had been sitting on the bench. So now he's in his fourth year. <laughs> he's in his fourth year, which he wants mean. his money. But at this time, we're we're in we're in cap, we in we we're, we're being strangled by the cap because of Matt Ryan. They can't pay him. Maybe so what does Jacksonville do? Oh, okay. Come get this money. Yep. Uh, it's, the it's the linebacker. It's the linebacker that led the league. The linebacker that led the yeah. league in tackles the last two years. The last two years. The last two years. Come. Yep. Now, that's that it, that's was one of Dan Quinn's picks. But he sat on the bench for like two years. He played a little bit here, a little bit there, but he sat on the bench. Well, luckily, and then they brought a different. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. Uh-huh. Let's let's not over that because you jumped on me. You jumped on me when I talk about people playing, and now this guy. Who sat on the bench for two years, led the league in tackles for two years. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure that mm-hmm. I say that out loud because before y'all mm-hmm. kind of over that bullshit, I want y'all to know <laughs> I'm ways. always right. I'm just trying to <laughs> tell you, it was just a matter of time, pick. It was a matter of time. I wanted them to go ahead and slowly get it. Look at Mr. On the Mic over there. It's quiet. See what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what it is that I say, and I say what I what? mean. Wait, wait, what wait, 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 wait. No, wait. no. Don't, Cedric, wait, don't wait. Let me, let, me, let me say this first. I'm not going to take what you Let me say this first. Cedric. I also said it was a change in scheme. Yeah, but it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, because yes. even if yes, it's it does. Set, okay, listen, <laughs> I'm agree with you. Even if it's the scheme, even if it's personnel, even if mm-hmm. it's just the fact that that Bama drives a Volkswagen versus a Ford, it don't matter. What matters is there's somebody who says, hey, Deacon, Al, Pick, Cedric, you're in. And if they don't say that, you don't go in. And so it doesn't matter until you're on the field and you produce. So if you're on the field for 25% of your the year, you're on the field for 75. There's a huge difference. 75%. Put your fingers down, pick. You put your <laughs> fingers down. It's the OG show. I <laughs> see what I'm saying. Don't disrespect our company, man. <laughs> Let me in the house. Because listen, because y'all going to talk about me anyway. Y'all going to say I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just proved my point. My point is, is this. <laughs> I do agree. I do agree with a new regime. Everybody got to fit. But two pick, how you feel Davis Brooks. is going to do two pick? How you feel Davis? Hey, is hey, Al, Al, <laughs> hey, Al, I got your address. Don't make me come over there tonight. I might lose, but I'm a fighter. Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, funny. Go ahead, Listen, Pink. Ask this question. Ask this I, question. Think, Go ahead, I think that, and you hit on this earlier. You said, "How is it that your position is the position that's suffering when you, Jack Del Rio, and Ron Rivera both played linebacker, and the only thing they talked about was finding a quarterback, right? A quarterback. My question to you guys is." Who's the quarterback of the defense? Mm. So right. not the Mike. Not a Hall of Famer. So not only, not only did you not find a quarterback for the offense in your four, five years of coaching this team, but you failed to find a quarterback for your defense. Absolutely. And you systematically deconstructed a roster and broke yep. it down to its bare bones. To the point where if we cut somebody, nobody wanted them. Right. So That's when right. Asking, so again, I'm answering your question about linebackers. Well, what well, we it didn't make any sense. sense. We, we, that means we wasted the number one pick. <laughs> Davis, <laughs> Davis, when Dan Quinn comes in and says, when Dan Quinn, and don't forget they have Ken Norton Jr. as the linebacker coach. Mm-hmm. 
That's so this is a, a linebacker that knows what a linebacker is supposed to look like. We okay. had a we have a linebacker organization, and we just we had a linebacker. We, organization. But we we have a linebacker now that will say he ain't it. Right. And to answer your right. other question too is you only get on the field when you show the coaches your your position coach starts to have to speak up. And we talked about this said your position coach has to say to the coordinator, we need to get this guy on the field. And the right. coordinator says back to the position coach, why? And he can tell him because he plays this technique, because he's doing this, because he's doing that. And look at this. And he can show him film and practice. And then the coordinator can say, okay, well, let's give him 10 plays. And in those 10 plays, he he grades out great in nine of the 10. And then next week he gets 20 plays, right? But we mm -hmm. didn't have that. Because nope. we had high school coaches coaching our secondary, and instead That's of having right. the, instead of having the Legion of Boom, we had the Legion of Busted coverages. And we had linebackers that didn't know which hole to fill. Which means we that had what you're saying is true. punching defensive oh. tackles in the face on the sideline. What you're saying is true. That means that Mayo <laughs> was the guy. I need y'all to hear me say that loud and clear, Al. <laughs> Mayo was the guy that the, that Ken Norton Jr. said, hey man, this guy plays, plays better. Joe, you don't want to believe what? what I don't want to believe. And now that's why we got 95% of the roster getting turned over. Like the omelet that you fixed this morning. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. I hear a lot of negativity going on here. A lot of negativity about last year. That's just defeatist. Let's leave that in the in the past. Yo, We're business. not gonna talk about that. That's defeatist. Fuck it. <laughs> huh? I'm excited for this year. I'm excited because this year you're not skating by to get on the roster. That's right. There's there's gonna be no skate onto the roster this year. And and right. people may look at the roster already and say. Hey, well, you got this many quarterbacks or this many linebackers and corners or whatever. No, no, you're gonna have to earn it this year. You're gonna have to earn it, and I'm excited about it. I'm not predicting that we're winning ten games. I'm not what predicting, predicting that. that. What do you predicting? What I'm predicting? What I'm predicting is a better roster than we had last year, because I coaching just, matters. This is the second worst team last year, so <laughs> coaching matters. We're, we won four games last year. Right, Carolina won three. Right, I'm. I'm gonna tell you this: we're gonna win more than four games this year because of coaching. I didn't say because of players. I didn't say because of players. I said because of Two coaching. Picks, you're not really jumping out there at all, though. Two picks. You're not really jumping out there at all. We're gonna I, win more I'm than not, four. Listen, listen, you want to more than four? That's not jumping listen, out there. He doesn't. He doesn't have. To. Let me tell you because last. If you look at last year's team, give me a minute. Give me a minute. You look at last year's team, right? Listen, <clears throat> Super Bowl bus. Huh? Did, did you say Super Bowl bus last year? Super Bowl. That's what I said. I ain't going to come back off of it. It's Super Bowl or bus. I said yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. That's right. I did. My bus was everybody gets fired. <laughs> so we fired everybody because we was a bus. <laughs> we sure did. But just to say that, I'm just saying, last year, listen, it's, it's like science. Okay? It, 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 Trey, I learned a lot from Trey. What the hell is that? I learned a lot from Trey Z, and here's one of the things I learned from Trey Z. You know, I went to school too. Oh, HHS. Y'all know what it is. Science doesn't prove anything. There's a such thing as science, scientific proof, and scientific evidence. There's no such thing as scientific proof. Scientific, you have evidence for things, okay? So we have evidence that we have good players, okay? Now we have we have, we got our quarterback Jaden Daniels, right? We have evidence that he has played well in college. Can't prove it in the NFL yet, but we have evidence, so we have something to look forward to. Am I right? Right. We have true. evidence that our wide receivers one and two are pretty damn good. We don't know about three yet, but we have evidence that the one and two is good. Terry McLaurin is the number one, whether well, Big Al thinks so or not. He's the number one. Jay John Dawson is the number two. Yeah. We have evidence that our running back core is pretty good. Brian Robinson, am I right? Right. Austin Eckler, am I right? Yep. Pretty good evidence that these guys can ball. 
tight end core, we have evidence from college that Ben Sinnott, pretty damn good. Okay. We have yeah. evidence that Zach Ertz has done it in the NFL at a high level. Might be a Hall of Famer. Might be a Hall of Famer. We have That's Amari great. Rogers come back, who we have evidence that when he got in the game, Trey, what did he do? Ball out. Nothing but ball out before they put him back on the bench. <laughs> they did we brought a center in. Oh, they. Tyler Badass. Badass. We have, evidence. we have evidence that this guy can play at center. Evidence, not proof. We have evidence that he can play that position at a high level. Okay? Guard. 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 We brought in Nick Algeretti. Evidence that he can play. We didn't even know what Mason Brooks can do last year. He was killing us in uh, preseason. He was. <clears throat> Am I right? Sam Cosby, our number one pick from a couple years ago. Evidence that these guys can play. Pro. He's a pro. He's a professional. Now, problem is, we don't have evidence that any of our tackles can survive a whole year and play well. Nope. That's the big hole in this game. But Allen is a pawn that can be utilized to get us one of them tackles. Yeah, but the problem is we only yeah. have evidence. We only have evidence of what we can do. I really don't think that's We have happen. evidence. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm still finish here. I'm still on a roll here. Guaranteed. Because we have evidence that our head coach can coach defense. We have evidence that our defensive coordinator can coach defense. We have evidence that our offensive coordinator is somewhat of a sneaky genius. Because nobody has failed up like he has. He's a sneaky genius at what he does. The only thing we don't have is proof that these guys can do it together. That's because right. all of them are new. Everybody is new this year. So when you look at our team and you start to think about, well, we're going to beat this team, we're going to beat that team, this is going to be an easy win, we're going to play these guys at home, blah, blah, blah. You better be thinking about everybody's hitting the field for the first time together. 95% of them. Right. So let's not get over our skis as to how many games we want to win. Our evidence and proof should be whether these guys are playing together. Then you can start looking forward to the future of this team and what we actually need. Okay? So mm -hmm. let's, let's just calm everything down. We're yeah, going to try to be good it. this year. We may not be. But like Biggie Steve said, look out for 15 and 2. All right. Watch it. 15 and 2. Biggie Steve said to me yesterday. Watch it. I just want to be Atlanta. I just want to be Atlanta. That's all I want to do is beat Atlanta. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I got a question. I got a question. When, when I know we don't beat Atlanta. Can I ask that question? <laughs> hey, y'all play us this year? Yes, yeah, we, we play y'all. No, I understand y'all play Wake Forest. <laughs> play, I got to play, uh, 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 you know, San Antonio banana slugs or some crazy. <laughs> look, look, look. Trey Z, Trey Z keeps trying to trade Allen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna I'm tell you why Allen. that's not an option. You trade I'm, Allen for a tackle, I'll take it. I'm, I'm right. gonna tell you why it's not an option. That's right. Why is not option? Why would you take that? It's it's not an option because of this. Our second round draft pick, our first second round draft pick, right? He's small. He's undersized. We don't really have a defensive end, but this Bama is quick. It makes really fast. Let me show, let me see how fast. Oh. He's quick. If you look at what he did at Illinois, he's a monster. Plus, if you get Payne, Allen, and our second round pick on the field at the same time, where do you think that John Allen goes? He goes to defensive end. What? Hold on, wait up. Why isn't he playing John Allen, John Allen will then remember what he did at Alabama. He would go. He would play defensive end sometimes. He would play tackle. Um. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I don't, I, I, round think, I don't know about that. Three technique. Think. You're putting Allen. I don't know if they're gonna do that. We'll see after wait. If you put those three on the field, Allen has never. You put those three on the field. Wait a minute. You put those three on the field. At the same time, it's a problem for an offensive line. Okay, so pick. Let me ask you this question. Just bear with me. You're saying I just want to be clarity. You're saying that Jonathan Allen can play in. That's what you're saying. 
Yes. Okay. Just hold it. So that means that our coaching was so horrible because I want you to understand we had Chase Young who I always thought could play in and if he had to put his hand in the dirt he could we had Jonathan Allen that could put his hand in the dirt and play in we got your boy Payne we had your boy Sweat and you mean to tell me with those four we got zero penetration when I say zero, son, you were there. You watched it. You were, and I know you were sitting there like, wait a minute, who are we playing, and why are we not seeing the offensive line just falling on their backsides? It's because it was the play calling, or was it the player? Let me Which is the this. reason oh. why I'm trading Allen. Because I how much creativity? Player. How much creativity did you see from our I defense? Zero. Line? I saw zero. And that's why you. I'm sitting here telling you, if you look at what, what, what said, it has been telling you guys, Dan Quinn, his system will let players Dan move. Dan wasn't here. He wasn't here. Understand so why that. Why are you talking about that? I understand that. But you bring Dan Quinn, you bring in Dan Quinn and his defensive coordinator who you, you put people in different places. Look at how many times Michael Parson moved on our – every offensive player had to prepare for Michael Parson. Michael was everywhere. When you played Washington and Jack Del Rio was the defensive coordinator, you prepared for one person. Right. And we got excited when Chase Young and Montez Sweat would switch sides. And miss. But they did that on their own. They did it on their own without the coaches. It's so you telling me – last year's debauchery. If you tell me <laughs> we, have, we have a coach that, that likes to put position players in the best position. Tupac, I, I, I want to say though, Tupac, I think sometimes as fans, we overestimate the talent because we're fans of the of the players. You know what I'm saying? I'm not overestimating so, his I, talent. I, I think you see you have, you have more faith in Allen than maybe yeah, you should, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Allen's on listen, Allen, even though he he is pretty good inside, he's a little small for the outside. Listen, so, Tupac, are you telling me that Allen is better than Fladerry Mathis? <laughs> no, no, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. No, I'm playing <laughs> no so, so tell me this. Hold it. You said he can move the edge, right? He can play I'm saying, edge, yeah, in, play in, in, certain, in certain situations well, listen, versus, listen, certain, listen. versus certain listen. players, you're going to put him in that position because you know he can dominate him. And, and the, the goal is to put my best player on your worst player and, and, and make so it better benefit me. You're saying that That's true. Allen is a better defense end than any of our defense that we have on the, on the field. On the roster right now? 100%. Yeah. So he's better than uh, F.E. Obata. 100%. He's better than Dante Fowler. Cleveland Flair Farrell. Come on now. Now, hold Dorrance on. Dorrance Armstrong. Dorrance Armstrong. You got KJ Henry. Okay. Professional. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, so since we're going to do that, let's do this. All right. Javante Joan Baptiste. Come on. Listen. <laughs> listen. Okay. Y'all going deep know, in the roster. <laughs> you already know that Deron Payne, Deron Payne when, when he's in a, when he's, Allen has no more guaranteed money. He's, so he's about to be chasing the bag. And what players do when they chase him money? They perform, right? They get that extra He Man boost. They get that extra Pac Man power pellet, right? They get the extra spinach from Popeye. He's chasing the bag. You got a rookie coming in who wants playing time. And you got Deron Payne who demands a double team because if you leave me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm getting your quarterback right away. And then don't forget about the guys that we brought in. Uh, what's his name? Alovo? Aluvu? Love. Frankie Love, baby. So Thank we brought him love. in. And we know that he can chase a quarterback. So now we put Allen. We put these three defensive tackles on the field and you put Allen on the corner. He's going to go get it, man. Because now you got to slide to the What guy. you just did was a very strategic play. And you're right. If the coaching, going back to the very beginning of our show, if the coaching has the acumen that it needs to have, you can do some things. And you're saying that you can utilize uh, 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 Allen's talents in other positions. Then I would say sure. But again, we have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Well, Dan Quinn is a mad scientist. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going right. to tell you why.
Wiley Coyote Super Genius. The reason why we don't have any good. I like how you cut Al off. The right. reason, yeah, well, Thank I'm kind of saying back for you. Thank you. Today. No, no, that was great. The reason why we don't have any uh, defensive ends is because he's a mad scientist. When you go to a team and you don't have, and say you prepare for this team coming up, their defense ends are no good, average at best. You don't you don't game plan for them. Am I correct? Correct. Just run their asses over, right? Well, we know that, so we put out a bum up there, and then we use one of our linebackers to blitz off his ass. You only got one man blocking him, blitz. and then our linebacker is coming to blitz your ass all day long. We're gonna blitz. So eventually, you are gonna have to leave that that running back in we because our running back, I mean our, our linebacker, is coming. And then once you leave him in, we're not coming no more. Then we're just gonna play zone on your ass. That's you, bitch. See, you play off your weakness. You right. add strength to your weakness. Yep. So our defensive linebackers, although for the last four years have been pretty, they are solid this year. Jahan, I mean, uh, uh, Jamin Davis is our number three linebacker. He's probably the best number three linebacker in the, in the league. Let's be honest with it. Because he was our number one tackler last year. We put him to number three. So the first two guys are better than him. One's a Hall of Famer. One is all Bobby Wagner's all well, we, we ain't blessing Bobby Wagner. We ain't blessing no, Wagner. no, <laughs> we blessing Frankie Love. You hear me? We blessing Frankie Love, and we blessing Jamin Davis. And then, and then uh, uh, your boy can be standing in the middle saying, "Go, go." He's gonna be telling you when to go and when not to go. Listen, it's all the man scheme, baby. It's all the man scheme. It's coming up this year. I'm telling you, we have evidence. We don't have proof of this. Oh, wow. oh that's official. Where'd you see that? I tell you, JD Fowler's been there since before he drafted him. That's listen, official. Listen, when you bring a quarterback in and the punter has your number, come on, stop it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> all be honest about it. the ring of fame. Let's all be honest about the hierarchy. He's in the ring of fame. I'm going to tell, tell, tell you what. This is what I'm going to tell you. I said it and I'll say it again. They, the, 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 the punter that has made the Pro Bowl. You're leaving that out. There's a lot of punters in the league. We have a punter that has made the Pro Bowl and has made it consistent. Well, you better give and him that jersey. I'm going to say, you better give him that jersey. Why would <laughs> he not go into the Ring of Fame? Now, I think Harris. I think the owner said, "You better give him that jersey." Hey Al, Al <laughs> have you ever paid attention to the Ring of Fame? Yeah, and I seen Daryl Green. Okay. Yeah, I seen. No, I no, seen no, 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 Brian Mitchell. Oh, no. Yeah, I seen Riggins. Yeah, I seen Joe Jacoby. Yeah, I seen Dave Butts. Wait a minute, is Mark Mosey in the Ring of Fame? Mark Mosey is in the Ring of Fame. He is. But not the punter. But no punter, though. Ain't no punter. And you're going to name a whole lot of Bammers in the Ring of Fame that you're going to be like, was he in the Ring of Fame? So my point is, I said Ring of Fame. The dude has done his job. And if you guys don't give him credit, and I'm just saying, as a veteran, how long has uh, Tressway played? This man is defending the punter. Let's move on, man. I, I want to talk hey, about Hey, listen. I, I believe you, Trey. I believe you. <laughs> he may be going into hey, the Hall of Fame. What was the young career. man that got that got hit by the car that was a number one draft pick in Washington that's supposed to be our uh, quote-unquote quarterback for the last 10 years? Now, before you don't think about his name and don't mention him and whatever like that, I want you to now talk about this punter. So, because what I'm saying to you is this: if Jaden Daniels don't do what he do, boy, he can't do the okey doke on that one, boy. Look over here. Hey man, let's get to the bar, boy. Jaden Daniels is not out first. He's going into he's going to the Ring of Fame. He's going to the Ring of Fame with number five. He just won't be playing on the field with number five. Oh, that's you think. That Bama going to be number 76. <laughs> he's going to be upside down six is what he's going to be. Yeah, hey, he's going to get the zero number. Get out there. Hey, well, that's Mariota. Shout out to the place play for being a consistent player. That's all I'm saying. Hey, and he's a team player, too. He's a team player. You no, know, that $100,000 didn't mean nothing to him. He was going to give him the number anyway. Oh, yeah. So y'all official, he got paid? He got paid. I know he got paid. $100,000? I'm insane. Hey, hundred thousand dollars, I would give a five and a, and a, a point 
three, <laughs> negative two, whatever you want. Oh man, y'all. Oh, but hey, um, before we wrap up, I do want to talk about the Legion of Doom. But we ain't gonna talk about the Legion of Doom because I'm cutting them off. We, said we, <laughs> we, we leave it at this point. Deacon, is there anything else you want to say? Because I'm cutting them off. <laughs> Cut me off all night. Deacon, wake up. We out of here, right? Just look at that. We out, baby. Hey, hey, two pick and said, man, we appreciate y'all coming on, man. Last day. Hey, it's on. always what nice to hear you. Go ahead. Hey, can I ask you, can I ask y'all one thing? Okay, so this is, we do a question of the month for our guests, and I know we're guests on your show, but I, I just want this answer. All right. Okay. Name one draft pick, not the first round draft pick that you are excited to see play this year. Mm. Say it again. Name one, one draft, draft pick. pick. That you excited? Draft pick? Yeah, one. Name draft one draft pick. pick that we drafted this year that you excited to see, but it cannot be. Your answer cannot be our first round first draft round pick, pick. Jaden Daniels. Oh, I'm, I'm going to see John Claude Baptiste, baby. Yeah, That's not a draft pick. I want, I want to, I want to huh? see the brother of the running back. What's his Baptiste. name? Um, Hey, what's the wide receiver's name that we picked? McCaffrey. 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 Oh, McCaffrey. I want to see the first pick, McCaffrey. I'm excited. That's who, that's who my pick was. I want to see Luke McCaffrey. Yeah, I want to see McCaffrey. But he's the number three, though, right? I thought it was the fifth round pick. He was a fifth round pick. It, yeah. It's anybody but the first round pick. Any draft pick except for the first draft, first round pick. You know what? Oh, I, I, yeah, he was third. Okay, I got more than one. I, I want to see Sam still play. I want to see uh, Senate play since we ain't had no serious. Uh, tight ends in a while and I want to see if Newton can bulk up a little bit in his size and be able to beat uh, guards like he beat in college because there's a big difference. That's terrible. That's well, because we didn't hear what I said. <laughs> said I said Sam Steele. I want all of our draft picks to do well. <laughs> no, come on, man. You got to pick one. one. You got to give us a least one. I'm going with one. I'm taking the challenge. I'm going with one. I'm going with Newton. And I do want Newton because the defensive tackle situation, as I'm trading Allen, I'm still stuck on that. I think he is a pawn that we can get somebody positive on the offensive line that's going to really do something. So let him go. And I hope Newton comes in there like Cosme and does what he do. Be, be a pro. Because over time, you know, like I said, we ain't going to Super Bowl. But over time, he builds up. He learns experience. He gets whatever. He don't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? I just want him to play. And if he could play, then guess what? Now we got somebody. I want to do. You know you want to see Sam I'm going with McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. Now, I like that name McCaffrey because McCaffrey is a is a that's that that's that a Hollywood joint. That's mm -hmm. that Hollywood name. That McCaffrey man. Let's hey, tickets, baby. Everybody. What about what about Marcus Rosemary Jack Saint? <laughs> who the hell? Boy, boy out of Georgia. You know who I'm talking about, don't you, Cedric? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. That's well, that wide receiver out of Georgia. Wide well, receiver on top three passing this whole Yeah, he's yeah, undrafted free agent. Yeah. He has good hands. That nigga has good hands. Great, great position receiver. I want to see him make the team. I want to see him make <laughs> the team. <laughs> Who's the big receiver out of Seattle? What's his name? Out of Seattle. Out of Seattle? Out of Seattle? The football team? Yeah, fourteen. Um, um, D, D, what's oh, oh, D, 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 K Mitchell, D, D K Metcalf, Metcalf, yeah, Metcalf. There's what about rumor, him? there's rumor pick that that's where Allen the 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 uh, trade might go. For him, Allen for Metcalf. Come on, man. Nah, come we on, not man. getting the dude that want to wear a halter top. And hey, we got booty shorts in. Al, Al's been looking for a big receiver. Deacon, yeah, y'all can talk about it all day. Paul, Al? If, if we would have gotten... We <laughs> would have been receiver. We were, who was the number one pick? Mr. Fingernails. If somebody would have dropped down and we went up to the number one pick, y'all wouldn't be saying that. So I'm just going to say this again. Hey, it's a different Alan world. Mc, Mc, yeah, right. 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 <laughs> Alan Metcalf. I'm just saying there's a rumor that that might be the trade. And think about it. A Metcalf, McLaurin, Dotson trio. <laughs> with a Daniels in the pocket. With a Robinson. 
Still ain't got enough Eckler tackles. in the backfield. All this maneuver we doing, we still ain't getting enough tackles. Can't get enough tackles. No. Hey, look, and no tackles. No tackles. Hey, hey. No tackles. Hey. This grab, this grab at least 15 deep with, with, with college tackles worthy of, of being going in, in, the, in the top three or four rounds. At least 15. No, they all gone. Yeah, they was gone. gone either. They now, was gone. Let me let me say something nobody wants to hear. Oh, USF. Let me say something. Let me say something well, nobody, nobody wants to say hear. something nobody want to hear. <laughs> is they were worthy. They are they're already giving him rave reviews out of Kansas City. Who? Wait, was a foe too? <laughs> Who? See, he, I heard he was he I heard the, his he, hands wasn't he, that good. He got the twisted cornerbacks into into knots out there. Really? <laughs> that's a report coming out. Worthy. He can't run past me. I wasn't sure whether he can run patterns. I know he's fast. Yeah. Straight line. Apparently, no, apparently he can. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. When you have tra- when you have Travis Kelsey, when you have Pikachu in the backfield, and don't forget they got another tight end, but to go with Watson that they had last year that was sort of a steady Eddie, but would drop a, ca- a pass occasionally, and then you trade with Buffalo again to get the fastest wide receiver in the draft. Listen. I got calls from my future father-in-law telling me, "Hey, we about to we about to three peat on him up in Kansas City." I believe it too. I wouldn't doubt it. Hey, listen, I think, they, I, had I, to, I, they had to replace uh, uh, Tyreek Hill, man. Yeah, they they, they lost a wide receiver. Did they lose a wide receiver? Did he go to jail or something like that? No, nah, he ain't in jail Ooh, yet. Not yet. He ain't in jail yeah, yet. he got some serious charges. He's, he ain't he, in jail he, yet. And he just and he just got another charge for putting his hands on somebody down here too. Said he got from. He's from Fort Worth and he came home. But guess why he came home? Because Patrick Mahomes has a home here in Texas. And they came home. He came down home to work. But what they say, Jay-Z told you, you can't go home. You can't go home. But my quarterback is there. So I fall back in line with my boys that I grew up with, that I got away from by being in the Midwest in Kansas City. Yes, I'm eight hours away. But don't nobody travel outside of their neighborhood. But that's you brought true. me back home. Yeah, well, he's hey, he, he not in the field no more. That's for sure. Well, not yet. I mean, it, it, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might get. He might get. Way out. He's like packing his bags. Get it. Get All right, Trey. Before we get out of here, man, we got we got one thing to do. Uh, two pick and said y'all hadn't y'all haven't done this yet. I don't know. Two pick. Hey, you know, you, you might have done it before. He's done it. But said hadn't done it yet, so I hope he hadn't given out the uh, the dive bomb that uh, we got going on here. But go ahead, Trey. I thought we was, thought we was uh, ghosting said right now. Being ghosted. Nah, man. <laughs> he, a, he a hater, but he all right. He all right with us. He family. All right. So he's always a family member that's a hater. Okay. All right. All right. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, I got to bring it on? Okay. I said, I guess we're going to bring it on. And it's only because we love you, man, and you roll with pick, which is why we love you. So anyway, this the deal. If you got to go through this gauntlet, I think pick has gone through it already. If I'm not sure, pick, if you have it, then you got to jump into Okay. Pull it up, dig in shit. I was waiting for you to announce it. Yeah. I'm announcing it, man. This is what we got to do. What you guys are going to, well, let's see, pick. If you remember this, you know what we're talking about. Okay. He's smiling. I think you remember. You remember this? Oh, yeah. I remember this. All right. So you need to be quiet. (laughs) I said, in order for you to hang with us anymore, because we let you tonight, the next time might be by invite. (laughs) We let you in is going to be by invite only. You got to pick three. If you was in a battle and you had to pick three guys to be side by side with you, who are you picking? Said, this is important. Because this will take t- not only talk about your acumen as a movie buff, oh, this is easy. martial arts buff, but also just a cool dude. <laughs> this is easy. Stay away from five. Hey, come on, come on, pick number ten. Number ten. Number 10. Pick, pick is doing the Al. Al is doing it. They, they messing them up. Number ten. I said focus. one eight and twelve. One eight and twelve. Said that was a good choice. Not bad, said not bad. Oh, that's not, not bad. That's actually great. I, that's I P man good. tall Bruce Lee. Good yeah. job, said. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm an IP man fan. That's <laughs> well, right. not, not that IP man. What it was a different IP man, wasn't it? No, yeah. that's the same it man. That's the same one. The same yeah. one that taught Bruce Lee. 
Yeah. Yep. I'll mm-hmm. give you a top Bruce Lee. Yeah. Well, I know yep. it's been a couple movies. Excellent movies. choice. So while we got you on here and who's ten choices, we, well, we figured that question. out. We finally figured yeah, it I out. Sent you that. Due who's to ten? Deacon's deep dive, we finally figured it out. What's his name, Deacon? Couldn't tell you. I know. <laughs> I know Even you know after we saw it, we was like, I don't know. Still don't know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> there's actually a couple of movies, and he is an action star. And all those guys on that, and those of you who are watching, are actually accomplished. The rule is that yep. those are all accomplished martial artists. So nobody's just a Hollywood dude. These guys have actually, in their craft, have done some work. Said you so, should have picked number five, said. In a real battle, this is what it is. Al's, Al's three picks, you guys just don't want to know, because Al going to be dead. I think <laughs> that the faster he dies, the better. You know, say not Van Damme. He's a pastor. Oh man, Van Damme. Well, was saying, good All job, man. Is, 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 good job. Said Van Damme's on the hey. team now. And ladies hey. and gentlemen, those of you who have got this far in the show, I want to thank you for being dedicated. Those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe. You don't have to like every time, but subscribe. Just subscribe. And after you subscribe to the old Jesus. Be the only reason why you subscribe is probably because of these guys here and over there, which is said and toothpick at the first screen first podcast. podcast. Yes, I don't know why my mind just went blank like this. It's right now. I watched the thing. thing. <laughs> no, 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 I know that. First it's screen podcast. It's shirt. It's hey, no, no, no. shirt. I, I think I was going to say something else and then I got to do it. But listen. If you don't do it, you got to get on the First Dream Podcast, man. There's a lot of people on there. They have the special guests. They the get on there all the time, and they they listen. It's an awesome show. I, I enjoy watching, and I enjoy participating. And we want to thank you. We feel honored that you guys came on the OG show. Thank you tonight. Hey, hey, listen, I know we give Seth a hard time, man, but we love you, too. <laughs> This this guy uh is he's 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 uh, a ATL cool fan, dude far rest. Say well, yeah, ATL all day. We get I just like for him to watch our you know opening promo all the time. That's so I hope <laughs> in order for him to see himself. He's gonna have his hey, I sent it to him. I sent the yeah, phone. I know phone. you did. I know oh, I it was dirty. <laughs> I remember, I he's like, oh man, it's messed up. <laughs> but it just so happens. <laughs> that was his best game. Hey, look, I'm that meme, your emoji. <laughs> well, hey, man, we're going to get out of here. We appreciate y'all coming on with us, man. We love That's y'all. That's right. Family is family. We'll see y'all oh, next hey. week. Right on. Don't be